Hunting year-round, trapping, even shooting them from helicopters, none of it has put a significant dent in Oklahoma's feral hog program. So now there's a new approach. It's one using an old method in a novel way. Two works for you. Problem solver Aaron Conrad explains for us. As a full moon rises over Mark Euster's K County soybean field, a pack of marauders emerges from the tree line. Hard to see at first, but as more come out, you can tell they're pigs. But not just any pigs, these are feral hogs. Probably about 15 years ago that the feral hog problem finally got up here. Feral hogs moved up through Oklahoma from Texas. The highest concentrations are in Oklahoma's southeastern counties. They're a highly reproductive animal. Breeding at just six months old, they can have at least two litters a year. You can have a p one pregnant pig in year one, okay? Five years from now, through natural mortality, she's going to be, there'll be about 40, 45 pigs. Ten years from now, that's grown to about 600. But then here's the problem we have. In 20 years, that's up to 125,000. So their growth gets exponential. So they're running out of room when they're moving. They've been in here not too long ago. Leaving trails of destruction in their wake. Habitat's good for them right here. Can't Mark be. Euster's family has farmed this land just south of the Kansas state line since the land run. We have uh, wheat, corn, soybeans, milo, uh, silage, hay. Really done a lot of damage. But right. since feral hogs started chowing down on his cash crops, he's losing money. It's probably in the last five years probably just cost me, uh, just me, probably anywhere from twenty to thirty thousand dollars in damage to our crops. And that's just one farm. Statewide, the cost of feral pig damage is hard to swallow. I think it's through the roof. I mean, I, I, in the billions of dollars. Scott Alls with the USDA says damage isn't limited to farms. Feral pigs pollute the water. But that's not all. They're really hurting our uh, turkey population in the last three years here. We used to have a lot of turkeys on this up here, and hundreds, and uh, very seldom you see turkeys now. They just eat their eggs. It's gotten so bad in Oklahoma Oklahoma, the USDA is starting up a pilot project in five counties on the fringe of the feral hog range. The idea, trap and kill them. We need to harvest 70% of them just to maintain a population. You know, so the goal is to get up in the 80 and 90% range where then you can start pushing them back down. Hitting that goal in Kay County and the four counties along the southwest border. If we kind of start on the edges and set a perimeter then we can work our way south and east and try to tackle it as a state. But feral hogs are smart and skittish, so it takes time to entice whole groups into the traps. Wildlife biologists have discovered if you don't get the whole group at once, the ones that get away won't go inside a trap again. We had one trap uh, out in West Oklahoma. We caught over 60 in one, one drop. But with patience, enough can be trapped and killed to put a big dent in the population. And for Euster, that's a good start. They're not going to eradicate them by any means, but just at least control the population. This pilot project is set for three years, and during that time, conservation districts and the USDA will monitor trapping and keep track of the feral hog damage to help determine the project's effectiveness. Now, if you have a concern you'd like to share with the problem solvers, drop us an email or give us a call. Aaron Conrad, two works for you.